Hello and welcome to day seven of alleviating your anxiety. Today we're going to work on our spinal flexibility and that includes back bending. So our spine is a spiritual axis. It contains all seven of our chakras, our energy centers. So working with the spine, we can remove blockages from all seven of the energy chakras. It's so important to allow energy and prana to start to flow throughout our body. We spend so much of our lives in the Western world hunched over and not opening our back. It's always bent this way, whether we're on our phones, working at the office, on a computer, at school, just so much of our daily lives are hunched over. So when we start to open up the other side, a lot of emotions, stuck energy can start to shift. So again, be really gentle with yourself. Do what you can. It's not a competition. And listen to your body and always make sure you can breathe in the posture. Some things might come up. Allow yourself to be a witness. But in the bigger picture, you're starting to move that energy, work through those blockages, and allow energy to flow, working through anxiety or fears that you have and are holding within your spine. So we will begin and we'll come into a, um, a tabletop position. So shoulders in line with the wrists, hips in line with the knees, knees hip width apart, hip width apart, and hands shoulder width apart. Spreading the fingers wide here. Feeling the engagement through the palms of the hands. We're going to drop our navel and look up towards the sky, letting your heart shine here for cow pose. And then exhale, drawing the navel into the spine, dropping the head like an angry cat here, really rounding the spine. And then inhale, you can exaggerate the movement, bend the elbows, let the heart shine for cow. And exhale, rounding the spine, dropping the head, pulling the navel into the spine. And then inhale, exaggerate the movement, bend the elbows, bring the navel down, and let the heart shine up. Continue moving at your own pace with your own breath. And if any other subtle movements want to come, allow them. See what your body is craving today, what your body wants today. Listen to the spine. Maybe it feels nice to shake your neck side to side. That's really nice for me. I hold so much tension in my neck. Maybe your shoulders. Maybe it feels nice to circle your hips. Close your eyes and listen to your body. This is so good for the spine, for all seven chakras. You only have one time for one spinal exercise a day. This is it. Taking your last inhalation and exhalation here, and then meeting back in tabletop position, neutral spine. Beautiful work, everyone. We're going to push up into our first downward dog of the day. So inhale, curl the toes, lift up the knees, and exhale. Push that tailbone up towards the sky, gaze towards the feet, checking in with the palms, the fingers, making sure they're spread wide, pushing through the index finger and thumb, externally rotating the shoulders here, drawing the belly in. Always feel free to bend your knees. Just make sure that spine is straight here. The legs do not matter. Taking a full inhalation. And exhale, light breath. Let me hear it. <sighs> Beautiful. And then on our next inhalation, we're going to come forward to plank pose. And then keeping our shoulders in line with our wrists, drop down. Coming into a cobra pose. And then curling our toes, exhale, pushing back into down dog. Inhale, shifting forward, dropping the knees, keeping the chest lifted if you can, coming up into cobra. Exhale, down dog. So if this is too much of a back bend for you, you can always just bend the knees, lower the chest, and then come up to cobra and then push back to downward dog like a vinyasa. But if you can, keep the chest lifted. So shifting over the sh shoulders over the wrist, inhale, cobra. We'll do this three more times wherever you're at. Inhale, coming forward. And exhale, down dog. Inhale, 
now shift forward, really opening up the neck here, the chest, the spine, exhale, down dog one last time, inhale, coming forward, and exhale, down dog, beautiful. Taking a full inhalation here, and exhale, let that go. Inhale, we're gonna kick our right leg up to the sky. Exhale, lower. Let's do that again. Inhale, kick up. Exhale, lower. Again, inhale, up. Exhale, down. 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 Inhale up, exhale down, beautiful. Walk your dog out, let that go. Kicking the leg up helps open up the lower back, the lower spinal flexibility. So we'll do that on that left side now. 10 times, inhale up, exhale down. 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 Inhale up, and exhale down. Beautiful. Walk the legs side to side. Let that go. Beautiful work, everyone. And then inhale, coming forward to plank pose. Heels to the back of the room, squeezing the seat, shoulders over top of the wrists. Then exhale, lower down onto your knees. Elbows stay in, chest down, chin down. On the belly, hands are below the shoulders here. And then inhale, we're gonna rise up, gentle, gentle, and turn our gaze towards the right side, looking over the right shoulder. Exhale down. Inhale, lifting up, looking over the left shoulder. Exhale, down. Again, inhale up, right shoulder. Exhale, down, squeezing the seat here. Inhale up, looking over the left shoulder. Exhale, down. One more time, each side, squeeze the seat. Inhale, look over the right shoulder. Exhale, come down. Inhale, look over the left shoulder, and exhale, come down. Beautiful. Inhale, rise up to cobra, and exhale, downward dog. Full inhalation, and exhale. Then you can just walk up to the top of your mat here, keeping the feet either big toes together, heels slightly apart, or feet hip width distance. Inhale, coming into a halfway lift, gazes forward, not overextending the neck here. And then exhale, coming down, belly on the knees, forehead below the knees, feel free to bend the knees. And then inhale, bring the arms up overhead, drawing the belly in, palms meet overhead, and exhale to heart center. Beautiful. Take a moment here, close your eyes to breathe. Really feeling into your heart space. Sending your energy here. Feeling the expansiveness you have. Feeling the prana move to the spine and feeling your body awaken. Beautiful. If your big toes are together, just bring out your feet a hip width distance apart. And then we're going to inhale, bring our hands behind our backs, like we're kind of putting our hands in our back pockets. Drawing the elbows in, shoulder blades together, shoulders back. We're going to squeeze our seat and just begin to gently, gently push our seat forward. And then maybe bringing our gaze to the back of the room, being gentle with ourselves, not pushing it, and making sure you can breathe here. One more full inhalation, exhale, and inhale. 
inhale, come up, beautiful. Exhale, you can release the arms. Inhale, bring them overhead, palms press. Exhale, draw the belly in, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthening through the spine. Exhale, planting the hands in the ground, stepping back into plank pose, lowering the knees down or chaturanga, elbows staying in. Inhale, looking over the right shoulder for twisting cobra. Exhale, down. Inhale, looking over the left shoulder. Exhale, down. And then inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, we're going to bring our right leg up to the sky. Exhale, bringing it forward between the hands. Lifting up your back heel up off of the earth. Inhale, rising up into crescent lunge. Knee over the front ankle, hips squared. Pushing through that back heel. Full inhalation here. Exhale, we're going to bring our arms behind us, interlock the fingers, bringing the wrists together, keeping strong through the lower body, and inhale, rise up, lift that chest up, that heart up, feel that back body open, breathing here, staying strong and stable, push through that back heel, draw the belly in, one more full inhalation, and exhale. Inhale, we're going to turn our back leg parallel with the back of the mat. Bring our arms out parallel. Open up the hips. Coming into warrior two. So your front heel should be in the line with the back arch of your foot. See if you can bend a little bit deeper. Front knee tends to turn in here. So just bring it back out to the right side of your mat. Making sure we're not leaning forward. We want to be straight up arms out and gaze over the front middle finger breathing here feeling strong full inhalation and exhale inhale we're going to bring our left arm overhead bring our right elbow onto our right knee bringing the left arm overhead in line with the ear and then the right palm can face up here. Again, staying strong through the lower leg. And we're not shifting all of our weight into that, onto that front knee here. We're still staying strong through the core. One more full inhalation. And exhale. Inhale, you can rise up and reverse the warrior. Left hand comes in the back of the left thigh. Right hand up, coming into a nice slight back bend. Breathing here, keeping that front bend in the knee here. Anchoring through that front knee. One more full inhalation. And exhale. Inhale, we're going to lengthen through the front leg. Bring the arms out parallel. And then imagine we're bending over a counter. Exhale, reaching down for our ankle, our calf, the earth, or maybe a block making our way into triangle pose. So making sure the hips aren't sticking out here. We want our arms in one line, gaze towards the top left hand. If you have hyperextending joints like me, you can keep a bend in the front knee here. Breathing here, feeling strong through the belly. Taking one more full inhalation. And then exhale, lowering the left hand on the inside of the right foot, bringing the right hand to frame the left foot, bending into that front knee, lifting the back heel, coming into a runner's lunge. And then exhale, bringing the front leg back, coming into plank, lowering down on your knees, elbows stay in, coming into chaturanga, or knees down. Inhale, look over the right shoulder. Exhale, lower. Inhale, look over the left shoulder. And exhale, lower, just staying on your belly here. Just taking a full inhalation. And exhale. And then inhale, we're going to grab, bend our back right knee. And then grab the outside of the foot here. So the pinky toe side. Keeping your left hand by your side. You can start to kick into that back leg. 
Maybe begin to lift up your ch chest a bit. Coming into a half bow pose. So squeezing the seat. Try to keep the knee more in towards the body, not letting it splay out. Just kicking in your hat, your foot into your hand. Lifting the chest. Taking one more full inhalation. And then exhale, you can lower the knee, release the foot. Bring your hand, right hand sit back by your side. So let that go, full inhalation, and then exhale. Next inhale, you can grab the outside of the left foot, the pinky toe side, keeping the right hand beside you for stability below your shoulder. You can begin to kick into that left hand with the left foot. Maybe lift your chest up here. Breathing here. Just doing what's available for you. One more full inhalation. And exhale, you can lower it down. Release the foot. Let the leg go straight. Taking a full inhalation. And exhale. Then inhale, rising into cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Let that go. You can walk your head out side to side. And then inhale, lifting the left leg up towards the sky. Exhale, bringing it between the hands, lifting up the back heel, rising up into crescent lunge, hips are square, knee and ankle in one line, bend a little deeper in that front knee, push through that back heel, shoulders away from the ears. You can bring your gaze up if you like, taking one more full inhalation, then exhale, bringing the hands down, interlocking the fingers here, and inhale, lifting the chest up, looking up, opening up the shoulders, the back of the neck here, pushing through that back leg, tailbone tucked to protect the lower back. Try and keep the wrists together if it's available. One more full inhalation, then exhale. Inhale, spin your back foot parallel with the back of the mat. Bring the arms out to your side in one line, opening up the hips here. Warrior two, again, that knee and ankle in one line. Making sure we're not leaning forward, staying straight through the spine. The front heel is in line with the back arch. Gaze over the front middle finger. Taking one more full inhalation, and exhale. Inhale, you can bring up the left elbow on top of the left knee. Bring the right arm over in line with the right shoulder here. Imagining that your right left hand is out, like someone's giving you a high five, or you're wanted dinner plate. Breathing here, keeping strong through the heart, the bottom body. Not pushing too much weight on that left knee. One more full inhalation and exhale. Inhale, you can rise up, coming into a reverse warrior. Left hand comes up high. Right hand on the right back of the right thigh. Breathing here, feeling a nice back bend, anchoring down here. One more full inhalation. And exhale. Inhale, lengthen through the front leg. Bring the arms out parallel. And then exhale, imagine you're bending over a counter, bringing the left hand down to either your ankles, the mat, your calf, wherever you're at today. Bringing the shoulders in one line, arms in one line, drawing the belly in, making sure that the hips aren't sticking out. Gaze can look up at the right hand. Trikonasana triangle pose. Strong through the core. Taking one more full inhalation in Trikonasana. Then exhale, you can lower the right hand down to the earth. Bend into that front left knee. Frame the foot. Bring the left, turn on the back heel and bring the left foot back, coming down into plank pose. Lowering down on your knees, elbows stay in. Inhale, rising up, look over the right shoulder. Exhale, lower. Inhale, look over the left shoulder. Exhale, lower. Inhale, rise up, cobra. 
cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Beautiful work, everyone. Walk out your dog. Let that go. Take one more full inhalation. Exhale, lion breath. <sighs> Inhale, you can walk or step to the top of your mat. Coming into a halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rising up. Bring the hands overhead and exhale, bring it into the heart. Closing the eyes here, grounding down. Again, checking in with yourself, feeling that energy shift. Appreciating your body, where you're at today, and knowing that wherever you're at is exactly where you're meant to be. We're going to shift our weight into our left foot. And then we're going to bend the right knee and grab the outside of the right foot, so the pinky toe side with our right hand. And then drawing the knee in towards the left knee, we want to pretend there's kind of like magnets here, keeping the knees together. Then we're going to inhale, lift up our left hand, bring the index finger and thumb together, really stay grounded through that left foot. And then slowly, slowly, we're going to kick into the, our back hand, our right hand with our right foot, while we're reaching forward. So pick a place on the ground, maybe four feet in front of you, to focus on while we're balancing. Doesn't matter if you fall out, get right back in. Just slowly, slowly, dancer pose, natural asana. Breathing here, doing what you can. Kicking that leg while you're reaching forward. One more full inhalation. Exhale. Inhale slowly, slowly with control. Rise up. Exhale, lower the left hand, release the right leg. Shake that off, let that go. Beautiful. And same thing on the other side. So shifting our weight into the right foot. Bring your left hand out, grabbing the outside of the left foot. So as we bend the left knee, bringing the right hand up, index finger and thumb together. For Gyan Mudra, brings focus and concentration. And then when you're ready, feeling strong through the right foot, you can begin to reach forward, picking, picking, grabbing, focusing on a focal point, four feet in front of you, kicking into that back left leg, Drawing the belly in, feeling it through the spine, heart is forward. If you fall out, get right back in. If you have a practice, not perfect. One more full inhalation. Exhale. And inhale, rise up. Release the right hand, let go of the left leg. Whoa, shake that out, let that go, whatever feels good to you. Beautiful work. And then grinding down through the feet, so maybe keeping the feet hip width distance apart, but really feeling strong through the feet, to your foundation. We're gonna inhale, bring the arms overhead, palms press, exhale, drawing the belly into the spine, bending the knees here to get the belly on the thighs, Forehead below the knees, inhale, halfway lift. Planting the hands into the earth, stepping back into plank pose. Lowering down on your knees, elbows stay in. Inhale, looking over the right shoulder. Exhale, lower. Inhale, looking over the left shoulder. Exhale, lower. Staying down here on your belly. We're going to bring our hands back behind us. So the palms are pressing into the earth. Bringing our feet together, we're going to squeeze our seat. And then inhale, we're going to lift up the right leg here, keeping our chin on the mat. Pointing the right toe. Lifting it up, up, up. And exhale, lower. You can use the hands for support here. 
And then same thing with the left leg. Inhale, lift up the left leg, squeeze the seat. Bring it up, up, up. And exhale, lower. Now option here to go into full locusts or you can just do one leg at a time like we just did. But if you feel inclined to doing full locusts, I invite you to squeezing the seat, pointing both toes, bringing both legs up, using the hands for support. Such a nice slight back bend here. Squeeze the seat, point the toes, lift the legs up, up, up. One more full inhalation and exhale, lower. Beautiful. You can bring the right ear down. Doing a nice little neck twist. You can bring the palms open to face the sky. Big toes together. Heels open like a book. Let that go. Close the eyes. Connect to the breath. Hmm. One more full inhalation and exhale. Beautiful. Bring your chin back to center. Now from here, option to come into full bow pose or you can do what we did last time and just half bow pose, so just one leg at a time. But if you feel inclined, you can bend both the knees, grab the outside of both of the feet. And again, we don't want our knees to splay out here too much. So gently, gently, we can begin to kick our feet into our hands and slowly begin to lift up our chest, up off of the earth, kick those feet into those hands, bringing the knees together, not letting them splay out too much. Breathing here. Really feeling that spine open up. This can be a super intense pose. Make sure you're breathing. Feel that energy shift. One more full inhalation. And exhale, you can lower slowly, slowly. Bringing the left ear down, releasing the legs. Palms open towards the sky. Big toes together, heels open like a book. And let that go. One more full inhalation here, and exhale. Inhale, bring your chin back to center. Palms come down below the shoulders. We're gonna inhale, rise up into cobra, and exhale, curl the toes, downward dog. Just walk out your dog here. Nice little counter stretch. Let that go however you feel in the spine right now. And then exhale, you can just lower down onto your knees. You can walk your knees up towards the top of the mat. And then from here, if you're at home and you don't have a block, I invite you to grab a cushion or pillows. If you, are, if you do have a block, I invite you to bring it underneath your seat to begin with. I don't have one. And then just walk your heels out to the outsides of your thighs with the block under the seat. Now check how you feel. If you're feeling good here, you can try to remove the block and lower your seat down onto the mat. But be gentle with yourself. You're stretching all the ligaments in your knees and your knees are so important. So you wanna make sure you're being safe and not pushing anything. So really have a nice gentle check-in with yourself. Make sure you're not pushing yourself. This is hero pose, Virasana. So again, checking in with yourself, seeing how you're feeling here. If you're feeling good still, you can lower down onto your elbows. We want to try to keep the knees together. Again, keeping those knee like magnets. If they open slightly, that's okay. But the thing we do not want is our knees to lift up off of the ground. That's really dangerous. So if your knees are lifting, you've gone down too far. So be careful here and check in with yourself. Again, if you're feeling good on your elbows, you can maybe lower down onto your back. If you're still good, you can bring your arms over your head. Grab the opposite elbows and just allow yourself 
So sit here, lay here, wherever you're at in the posture, close your eyes. This pose is so good for us. Taking one more full inhalation. And exhale. Inhale, slowly, slowly coming out of the pose the same way you went back in. So propping back up onto your elbows, rising slowly. And then we're going to lift up our seats, bring the knees together, heels underneath the feet, and then lower down into child's pose. So forehead on the mat, hands come behind you, palms open towards the sky, the side of the feet. And just let that go. And then inhale, rise up. We have another back bend for you. It would not be a spinal series without camel pose. So lifting up onto our knees, knees hip width distance apart. Again, imagining we're putting our hands in our back pockets here, pushing the hips forward, and just seeing where you're at in your body. If this is good, just stay here. If you can, lower your hands down onto your heels, keeping the heart lifted here, breathing here. One more full inhalation. And exhale. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, bringing the knees together, lowering down back into that child's pose. Letting that go, such an intense posture. Again, allow yourself to be a witness here to anything that comes up. We've really been bending our spines the opposite way of what we're used to. So check in with yourself. Any feelings? If there's any maybe aggravation or annoyance. These are feelings that have been stuck that you're now releasing. So. Allow anything you're feeling, allow it to go. Feel everything. And then on your next inhalation, rising up, we're gonna do that one more time. Coming up onto the knees, knees hip width distance apart. Bring the hands into our back pockets, shifting the hips forward, maybe dropping the hands down onto the heels, keeping the heart lifted. Imagining someone's pulling our heart up by a string. One more full inhalation, exhale, and inhale, rise up, exhale, lower back down to child's pose, knees together, forehead grounds, hands back beside their feet, palms open to receive, open towards the sky. Such good work you're doing for yourself today, for your body, for your mind, for your soul. Taking one more full inhalation, and exhale. Inhale, you can rise up, sweep the feet out from underneath you, and then stretching our legs out long, coming into Dandasana, belly draws in, hands back beside our seat, hearts lifted, spine is straight here, toes flexed back towards you. Taking a full inhalation here, and exhale. And then inhale, we're gonna bring our arms overhead and exhale with a straight spine, forward bend, Paschimottanasana, reaching forward. Maybe you come to your toes, your ankles, your calves, wherever you're at. Breathe here. Just focus on keeping the spine straight here. So heart forward, gaze forward, not hunching over. We do too much of that in our daily lives. Nice option here is to maybe grab a strap if you have one, or if not, a towel or even a sock and put it around your feet and pull forward. Be really nice. 
Taking one more full inhalation. And then an exhale. Inhale, rise up, bring the arms overhead. Exhale, lower down. Then bending the knees here so that the feet come onto the mat. Take a look behind you, make sure there's room for your back body. Drawing the belly into the spine, reaching the hands forward. Take a full inhalation. And then exhale, slowly, slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae, lower the spine down. Look ahead, relax things to ground, release the arms. Then just draw the knees in, maybe sway the lower back side to side, giving the lower back a nice little massage. And then exhale, lower the soles of the feet back down. Walk the heels in towards your seat here, keeping the knees hip width distance apart, the feet hip width distance apart. Bring the hands down beside your seat. We're going to inhale, lift up into bridge pose. So lifting the seat up, squeezing the seat, keeping the knees hip width distance apart. Now let it then splay out. Option here to interlock the fingers underneath you for extra shoulder opening here. Such a beautiful pose. Really good if you're feeling anxious. Option here to lift up the right leg, point it up towards the sky for three, two, one. Exhale, lower. Inhale, option to do the same thing with the left leg, point it up towards the sky. Hold for three, two, one. Exhale, lower. Take a full inhalation, and then exhale, you can release the hands, and slowly, slower, slowly lower the spine, your seat down towards the earth. And then I invite you just to heel toe your feet out um, to a mat with distance. You can bring the hands out, cactus, and just windshield wipe the knees side to side. Let that go. Moving with the breath. And once you've evened out from right to left, you can just bring the feet back in towards the seat, hands come back down by the torso, hands beside the seat. One more round of bridge. So we're gonna inhale, squeeze the seat, lift up our seat up towards the sky. And then exhale, we're gonna lower and inhale up. So it's like a bridge push up here. Exhale, lower, inhale up. 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 Three more. Exhale, lower, inhale up. Exhale, lower, inhale up. Exhale, lower, inhale up, and exhale, lower, bring the knees in, give yourself a squeeze, you can sway your lower back, side to side, let that go, and exhale, bring the soles of the feet, mat with distance apart, bend the knees, arms come out, cactus, taking a full inhalation, and then exhale, I invite you just to drop your knees down to the right side, Turn your gaze towards the left. You can just stay here. Option to bring the right heel on top of the left thigh here for an extra stretch in the hip flexor. Breathe in here. One more full inhalation, and exhale. Your right heel is on your left thigh, you can release. Inhale, bringing the knees back up to center, and exhale, lowering them down to the left. Option to bring the left heel on top of the right thigh here. You can turn the gaze to the right. Feeling the stretch in the hip flexor, twist in the spine.
Taking one more full inhalation here. And exhale. You can lower your right, your left heel if it was on your right thigh. Inhale. Lift the knees back up to center. You can bring them in for one last squeeze. Swaying the lower back side to side. And then inhale, come up, lift the chin up, squeeze in. Then exhale, you can release, bring the legs out wide, arms out wide, palms open towards the sky. We did it, Shavasana, your final resting pose. So I invite you to stay here for a minimum of five minutes to 10 minutes, just really letting your spine feel all the benefits you did for it today. Letting the energy shift and integrate throughout your body, throughout your mind, and throughout your spirit. And just really feeling how flexible, how healthy, how young you feel. Feeling loose and limber in the spine. Beautiful work today. Beautiful for yourself and for the whole world, sharing this practice, sharing your light as you become more light. Namaste, thank you so much.